You didn't need to go back up to the wreck, Andy. Keep you down. No. You're one lucky bastard that I made that mistake, by the way. <laughs> so happy fairy types don't exist yet. <laughs> Do I want to take this guy's Shuckle? No. Shuckle, dude. Shuckle can deal the most amount of damage in a Pokemon scenario ever. Not in this game. Not in this game. I don't care then. <laughs> I already have. I already have a shitty rock type. I don't need to. It's got potential, dude. That's what I'm telling you. It's got potential. <laughs> oh, shut up. So, what level do you, are your Pokemon? Do you not have a flyer? Uh, I do. I got Pidgey level four. Oh yeah. This time I do. Uh, yeah, I'm 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 odd levels. <laughs> I got I'm really like under leveled. Okay, so that's good then. Um my Fero is twenty-eight. Oh my I'm good. Porcel is twenty-two. Oh, I'm good. Because my Magma's sixteen and is gonna try and do this gem. The moment a Ferrata get a levels up, I'll be level thirty-eight. Thirty-eight? Yeah, because it's gonna get level up to thirty-seven and I've got a red candy. Oh jeez, that's ridiculous. So it'll be thirty-eight. So I'm actually skipping some battles now. <laughs> to speed up a little bit. Looks like I'm gonna have to go try hard again, aren't I? Yeah. Well, okay then. But yeah, I bought these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's gonna be good. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I think I should maybe do like some unboxings or something, I don't know. Yeah, make the... Because I don't have a good enough camera to do an unboxing, really. Come over here, I've got a good enough camera for you. No. I do. That's, you're far away. It's not my problem. It's not my problem. I can't even travel there anymore. This is for the next, like, couple of months or still, could. Yeah. Fuck it, I'm not coming over to England anymore, but... <laughs> As long as you can't travel here, it's just gonna be a bit of a hassle. That's all. No, you, no, it's not even going to be that much of a hassle, to be honest. Uh, not that much. Just a little bit more than it is now. Yeah. Alright, um... Jeez. Do I need to level up? I don't think I do. I think I'll be fine. I think I should really get repels. Are you getting a lot of surf encounters? Yeah. But I've gotten, yeah. I've gotten to the point where I'm actually running away from them because I can't be bothered. Anyway, so yeah, do Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Yu -Gi -Oh stuff, that's interesting. Yeah, I might do it. If I can sort out a decent, like, uh, opening setup. Which I think I can, maybe. I don't know. So, the uh, one thing I'm really annoyed about is... Oh, okay, I'm not going to be able to do this fight, I don't think. I would get into Yu-Gi-Oh! again with all the new rule sets and stuff, if only there is a game for the PlayStation 4, which has the entire anime, uh, the first, and then every single um, version of the anime, every single season. There is one, isn't there? Or is that only on Xbox? Uh, on PS4 and Xbox, uh, but it's not on Steam. If that ever is released on Steam, I'll buy it and I'll play it all the way through. Including yeah. all the new versions. Yeah, so would I. And I will learn it that way. <laughs> I guess. But for the time being, it's only on next-gen consoles and I don't fucking own those. I thought you had one of the next-gen consoles. Nope, I've got a PlayStation 3. That's oh, the yes, three. most okay. next-gen I have. Also my PC. Which, when I get my new graphics card, will be the most next-gen thing I have. Yeah. So is Corsola immune to electric? No. Because it's rock type. Yeah, but a rock type is not immune to electric, that's ground. Is it not? Oh, it's ground, okay. I thought rock was. No, it's ground. But that's, again, in Generation 1, every ground type is also a rock type. Yeah. So people just kind of assumed that was the case, and 20 years later, people still assume that's kind of the case. Wait, is it not even resisted? Nope. What the fuck? It's neutral. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How does that make any sense? It's rock. 
Why are rock and ground two different things? A rock is literally a piece of ground which yeah, is not I'm in the not, ground anymore. I'm not going into this again. We had this discussion last time. <laughs> Just get rid of rock. Make a hashtag Come on, on let's, pain. See, let's, let's see if I can pull through this gym. Um. Well, I just gotta get the bar. Fuck! I don't have strength. <laughs> I told you. I told you you got the strength for the gym. Well, I don't know where to get it. It's back in fucking the other city, isn't it? Yeah. Shit. Well, I gotta serve back again. I guess. I don't trust oh. you. I'm gonna look this up. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Oh. Okay, I've lost this battle. I've lost this battle. Um, Pokemon Gold. Are you, are you googling Pokemon Gold oh. surf location? Strength location. I'm. Strength location, I don't yeah. fucking trust you. It's in Cyanwood. No, not Cyanwood. Um, Olivine. It's it's an Olivine at uh, the house. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. House to the left of the Pokemon Center. Yeah. The moment that you read it, you just know. I like how we've swapped roles from last season. Or last gen or whatever. Where I'm the one looking shit up? No, oh. where you're the one using one Pokemon all the way through. And you're building and a I, team. And I'm the one using a bit of a team that's underleveled. Well, I just gave up on using the team after Sylph's go, really, so... At, but at that point, the damage was done and Dix was underleveled. Yeah. Also for Relegator. Have I revived yet? Nope. I don't think you can until the late fall. Maybe the fifth, uh, the eighth gym. The fifth gym that would be random. The fifth gym. Be great because we're almost there. But... I am there. I've done the fifth gym. Oh, I found it! Wow, I found a man time by just surfing. Nice. I'm gonna run away from it. Oh. People are gonna be pissed. I didn't even know that was possible. I thought you needed like a super rod even to get it. So did I, to be honest. Hmm. Learn something new every day. The one thing that is uh, what can I use for Steelix? Okay, so Lugia and Ho Oh, right? You're gonna need yep, to get I'm Lugia, thinking. I'm gonna need to get Ho Oh. Do we have to catch them? No, you can kill them. But you, okay. at that point you've got I mean, to be able to do we, oh, no. we have to encounter them? Uh yeah, because you can't progress the game. I thought that was only Souls Over. I think you do need to encounter them before progressing. Okay. Because well, if you don't... Um, You're gonna have a much easier time of it. Yeah. Because, because Burn Tower, you don't have to go through a fucking dungeon. Oh, I know Burn Tower, like, the inside of my pocket. Right? I... It's not that... Inside of your, inside of your pocket? Yeah. That's an interesting tower. I've never heard that before. Um, I've heard the back of my hand. The back of my hand, inside of my pocket, because it's boring and bland, just like the fucking Burn Tower. That's what I was going for, oh, really. Shit. Um, oh, shit. Now, but Burn Tower is very fucking easy. Uh, the the islands see, see, are confusing as shit. Yeah, the wild islands. But also, I think in the wild islands, you can encounter Pokemon, right? Yep. I don't think you can in Burn Tower. Nope. So that gives me an advantage. Yep. Gives you you got a massive advantage by playing gold. Because I just like I just prefer silver. It's easier and also less encounters. Also, it's more on the route, so I don't have to go out of my way to go to Burn Tower. Uh, not Burn Tower. Tin Tower. Yeah. I like, though, how they, in this generation, differentiate a lot between uh, the two versions. Silver and gold, yeah. Ruby and Sapphire also kind of did that with Groudon and Kyogre, with Team Magma and Aqua and stuff. Yeah. But Amiga Ruby Alpha Sapphire did it less. Yeah. It really irritating. Somehow. Like, you just go to the Cave of Origin, as opposed to going to the seafloor cavern or whatever. Are you also go to the Cave of Origin in... Uh, yeah, but you know what I mean, like... But beforehand... You, you go to their specific dungeons first. Yeah. 
like the one from Team Magma is on Mount Pyre? No, not Mount Pyre. Um, is it? Is it is on Mount Pyre? Pyre? Yeah, you do have to do Mount Pyre. Yeah, and then uh, in Pokemon Sapphire, you have to go to the thing in Lily Cove, which that is more beneficial. Yeah. So the first one to complete this game is probably going to choose Sapphire. I know I am. Well, are... <coughs> well you're going to complete first, this then. Hopefully. I will choose Sapphire if I do. Even though I do prefer Groudon. Sapphire, I would prefer to have. Because if I did Sapphire, I think I might just go through the whole game with a Ludicolo. If you do that, the entirety of the Hoenn portion of this playthrough will have Miros B theme under it. <laughs> I will just drop my well, game I'll, audio. I'll, I'll, I won't have Sapphire, will I? If you're going to finish first. Well, which, realistically, you are, looking at it. The past half an hour, I have made fuck all progress. Have you done Lighthouse? Once. And you, you've cleared out trainers and Olivine. I guess. Uh, I need to teach strength to Bob. It's not that big a deal. Your strength's actually a good move. Yeah, and it's better than Scratch. What's it, 80 base power? It's mighty accuracy? Better than Scratch. Yeah, it's a lot better than Scratch. That's all I know. That's all I need to know, <coughs> really. Oh, cough. Sorry about that. Never gonna encounter another ghost type in my life, so... Let's go Elite get four. me a gym badge. Elite four. Elite four. Elite four? Oh, yeah. No, right? Because uh, it's not Agatha anymore. There's still a ghost one of those, isn't there? No, it's poison. Oh, okay. Agatha officially oh, no, is I'm, a poison I'm, type I'm, I'm anyway. Think, I'm, th I'm, th I'm thinking of the psychic guy that's got a Zatu. How is that... I always, I always ghost think. related? I always get... I always, like... For some reason, associate psychic, ghost, and dark just together. Yeah, that's, that's what I do as they're well. All, they're all kind of like when you combine them, it becomes like a, a beast. Yeah, like having a psychic, ghost, dark core on a team is great. Having a ghost, dark type is really good. It used to be because nothing can well, hit it. Well, it still is really good. It's just, well, yeah, it's just fairies. Because fairy isn't a massively common thing, especially offensively, right? Exactly. Because what does it have? Rough like play. Moonbla Moonblast. Moonblast, I guess. But and a draining kiss. The only two Pokemon that have that typing are kind of shitty. Mega Sableye, though, is better. I guess. Yeah. But just normal Sableye or Spirit Tomb? Uh, it exists, I guess. Oh, this Black Butt is called Yoshi. Ha, that's neat. Yeah. Going back to Yu-Gi-Oh for a second, actually. Okay. Um, <laughs> the other day... How many episodes has that been now we're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> probably every single one so far. The other day, I looked at my subscription box, and Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged series is still a thing. Is it? Yeah. A new episode I was released like two days ago. In, I haven't watched it in literally years. It's in the... What is the... the Oracalco's season. The filler one. Oh, okay. Which, by the way, is my with favorite one. The Pokemon with infinite attack. The Pokemon, yeah. Fuck <laughs> I'm too busy playing Pokemon! <laughs> the monster with infinite attack. Yeah, that one. I mean, it's more bullshit than the entirety of Yu-Gi-Oh! combined. That season. But I yeah. like that season a lot. It's like, so how are you going to kill it? We'll give something more than infinite attack. No, I don't think you know how infinite works. Uh, watch Vsauce. Yeah, in nothing can be higher than infinite. What about... Infinite plus one? Could, you see, people say that, right? Infinite is not yeah. a number, I, I get it, it's no, a concept. No, it's, it's, con it's a concept, yeah, yeah. of the, high, the largest thing well, there's multiple that, different, could, that could ever exist. There's so multiple different some, kinds of infinity, though. Yeah, but adding one to infinity is still infinity, because oh, yeah. infinity is just the concept of the biggest thing. Yeah, but there's multiple uh, types of infinity, and some infinities are bigger than other infinities. It's kind of confusing, and I, yeah, I think it's, it's bullshit. Like, but... It's like how a billion is like a different number in England and America. Uh, is it? Yeah, I think... 
It was, no, I or, think. Or at least this, it used to be. It no, like, used to be because like, you used to have a milliard. Yeah, like I think well, don't a million million. used to be a million million. Yeah, a million million, which uh, we still call a milliard over here. All right. And then America's like <laughs> a billion, and everybody just accepted. Well, the English word for that million million is now a billion, which doesn't make sense because because an actual billion is a million to the power of two. Yeah. It's a by million. But I think the American one is just a thousand million. Is a billion. Just an extra three zeros. Yeah, it's a million with three zeros slapped onto it. But I think England adopted that uh, a number of years ago. Yeah, I, to be honest, I don't know. I don't really know numbers. I'm really bad with numbers just generally. Well, so, you know how I'm making, my, making this game, right? I'm making an RPG. Yeah, yeah. I've had to, I've had to make up damage calculations. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Those are the most complicated things I've ever had to do in terms of like maths and stuff. I'm generally pretty good with maths and stuff. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm like, I'm okay because it's, it's a relatively simple equation. It's been a long time since I did like more complicated stuff. It's just like so unnecessary for what it is. Like I based it off the Pokemon damage calculation because I wanted roughly similar numbers, like similar size numbers. I think Pokemon size numbers are pretty good. It's not like yeah, I've like, got like, 20,000 HP and you just yeah, got 7,000 damage. My one problem with Final Fantasy is that you can get 9999 attacks. Uh, in Final Fantasy X, you can actually get 99,999 yeah, as well. Yeah, you, you, know, you know what I mean. You yeah. can get, like, insanely high number attacks. And I can't stand that. <laughs> just generally. I no, think it's I'm, super I dumb. I definitely agree. Again, going back to Final Fantasy X, usually it's limited at 9,999. But you can get an it's ability. Like a special limit break or, or something. Well, I think it's an ability on your ultimate weapons, which breaks that into ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. Jeez. And still, Christ. to some optional bosses, that's fucking nothing. Yeah. I think that's bullshit. I think Pokemon has a really good balance in HP and damage. Yeah, I just I like the numbers. I like that the highest number you're realistically gonna hit on an attack is like four or five hundred. Yeah, even like though the highest number of HP you're ever going to have is... 600 on a Blissey? Yeah. 650, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what Blissey max HP can be. Well, let's see what Zygarde 100% form can be at level 100. If at level 50 it has like 250 HP. If it's actually that stats and not just something for the trailers. Yeah, well, level 50 Blissey's got about that much HP. Yeah, but Zygarde seems to be a lot more powerful than Blissey. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm literally just talking about HP stat here. Oh, yeah, HP. What's the highest HP stat you can get in the game? If Zygarde actually competes with that, that's fucking insane. I mean, arguably, I guess you can add one to whatever the highest HP stat can be, because Focus Sash is a thing. Does that really...? Uh, I guess. Essentially. But nothing is... No, nothing is going to one-shot that 650. And Focus Sash only works for yeah, full it, HP. Yeah, Bl Bliss has got, like... Two defense, but still, like um, probably max attack, ma match amp, max attack, match amp, dynamic punch could do it. That still requires quite. I just learned slash after teaching fucking strength. No, no, no! no, no. Don't get rid of rage. Fuck! No, no! Yes, yes! Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. Where is the? Move re loot. I it doesn't exist in this. Fuck. Seems like the game just got really interesting now, didn't it? <laughs> well, good luck with Chuck. <laughs> well, I'll just slash him to death. So you now have slash strength and serve and bite. Yeah. Interesting move set, to say the least. Pokemon Gold Move Reloader. Re <laughs> I don't think there is one, to be honest. Move Reminder, let's see. Move Reminder. Um, in exchange for a hard skill, usually, yeah, that's not a thing. Locations. Yeah, not a thing in this game. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh. Ooh, it's getting, it's getting really interesting now. Shit! 
<laughs> I mean, I'm still overleveled. And Brit is strong. I mean, regardless, though, you now don't have a strat <laughs> for things that resist water. Yeah, that's the only issue. Except for just slashing them to death. But what really resists water? Steel. I don't know. Steel, Steel is the only yeah. thing that bothers me yeah, at this point. Yeah, that gym's gonna be a bitch for you now, even more. I was gonna rage my way through it, but that's not gonna work anymore. Nope. Um. Shit. Well, good luck. Only if I had Earthquake. I'd be able to decimate these guys. Okay, so where do you get fly? This chick, right? It's this the lady up right out the front here. Um, wrong lady. Same. Well, there's two ladies out the front. <laughs> same thing uh, as with the other things we were talking about like an hour ago. For the guys on YouTube, that's probably like a month ago. <laughs> um, actually, no, it was like two weeks ago. Probably. Maybe two weeks ago, yeah. In the remakes, she walks up to you and gives you the HM, right? You don't have to uh, go looking for, for her. Yes, yeah, I think I think she does. I'm so fucking pissed. I'm so happy right now. I will laugh if I still beat you in this generation. You, you still might, and you probably still will, actually. But it's gonna be funny as. I don't think the game, it is. as they say, is on. <laughs> the thing is, there is gonna be like one or two people who think I did that on purpose. There will be people who think that. Yeah, there will be. And if you think that, fuck you. You're wrong. You're very wrong. Should I catch Gyarados? Yes, please do. I'm literally going to throw like one ultra ball at you. You already had Gyarados. I, I couldn't beat the gym. So I went here instead. Uh, you couldn't beat which gym? Steel. Oh. Well, I'm also doing that, so... Because I need to be overleveled as shit for the steel gym. Especially now. But you can take on the next gym without beating steel gym. Yes, I think so. You have to do like a rage first, though, obviously. Yeah, obviously. But you can. Oh, you can't run from a trainer battle. That's that's true. You can do Lake of Rage without beating Jasmine. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Okay, that's good. Good to know. So, where does it become a problem that you haven't beaten Jasmine? Um, you need to have Elite Four, Waterfall, a waterfall. You. I think I think you get access to using waterfall from Jasmine. So literally at the going to the elite four is when it becomes a problem. It doesn't stop you anywhere else. And the fact that you need to have eight badges. Yeah. Well, you could do Jasmine as the last gym. No, I don't think so. So does it stop you anywhere else? That's my question. Maybe. Maybe the Rage Candy Bar guy stops you. <laughs> Possibly. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. I didn't get the fucking secret potion! Really? <gasps> I'm actually an idiot. Can we redo this recording session? No. Oh. No, I'm actually getting... Enjoyment out of this now, yeah. No, I'm actually getting... Com it's getting competitive again, finally. Which is what I wanted the whole time. I'm just depressed. You don't be depressed. It's only game. Why you have to be mad? Because I got rid of my best move. Also, where do you get this fucking potion? It's up. In the potion shop, didn't you? It's up here, right? Right at the bottom. Right at the bottom. That's what I thought. I'm not gonna have any emotion in my voice ever again. Oh, rip. 
Oh, it's the dude with the sunglasses. I mean, it's the dude with the sunglasses. So talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. I thought Dragon Rage did the number of your your level, no, right? It was Dragon 40. Rage. Oh, Dragon Rage is always forty. Yeah. Oh, gross. That's pretty good, actually. All things considered, forty. Oh yeah, it, it's great. But I thought it was like Nightshade, <laughs> so I sent Dratinian because Dratinian has thirty-five HP and it's a level thirty Gyarados. Well, it doing I, forty I, is I, better I, than doing thirty-five. Yeah, but I'd rather it only did 30, so Dratini could have stayed in and got the XP. Oh. How does that make sense? Because I d um, didn't catch the Gyarados. Well, d it doing less... Uh, I would rather, in that situation, it did less damage, so that Dratini would have survived, because it would have oh, only done 30 damage Oh, he used Dragon Rage against you. Yeah. I thought you used it against him. No. Oh. Well, that makes a mo lot more sense. A mo lot sense? What? A, mo a mo lot of sense. You would have wanted a painkiller, right? Yep. You sure? Because I'm not making yeah. any sense. 5th time talking to Jasmine so far, I think. Actually, it's the third, but hey. And now we won't see Jasmine for another two hours of gameplay. Ah, <laughs> oh, balls. I spoke to the guy twice. I need to speak to him again. Oh, no. Hopefully I don't get into any battles, because nearly everything on my team is dead. Dying is the quickest way of uh, getting back to the Pokemon Center, really. Yeah, why don't I die? It costs you some money. That's actually really interesting because in Crash Bandicoot 2, weird topic change, I know. Okay, yeah. Um, I watched a speedrun of that the other day, and the quickest way to get back to some places in the, some stages is just to randomly die. Yeah. And get sent back to the last checkpoint. Makes sense. I wouldn't have ever thought about that myself. Speedrunning tactics, mate. Speedrunning tactics. Well, that's real smart. Yeah. I was like, oh no, this fisherman tried to attack me and I've only got a ma um, magma. But it's the it's the, the magic up guy. <laughs> the magic up guy. Four magic up. Oh. oh no, oh, this guy's also got a level 10 Gyarados, what? Uh, how? Hacks, mate. Same hacks as Lance uses. And the gym leader dude for a gym leader? I don't even know what he's called. That's how much of a shit I gave about him. What, the first one? Yeah. Falkner. Falkner. Yeah, that's it. I thought of it just before you. Luckily, I taught strength to Magma. So it doesn't just have Fire Punch. I would love to have a uh, good move on for Alligator. You have plenty of good moves on for Alligator, thank you. <laughs> well, what do I have? I've got Surf. Surf and Slash. And Slash. Strength is also a good move, but not when you also have Slash. Exactly, so strength is a bit of a waste. Well, what else would you teach it to? You wouldn't get another HM slave. Uh, fair enough, but then slash is a bit of a waste. There's always somebody that's going to be a oh, bit of a waste. Oh, why did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. Also, I forgot to use the rare candy and bulb, so it's going to be level 40 when it levels up now. Gross. Oh, I don't have rage anymore, so don't fucking worry. What, so it's still level 40 compared to my level 23 or whatever? Fair enough. Remember what level Clam was at the end of the game? Like, uh, level 60. 80? Oh. It was one level higher than the last Pokémon of my rival. Actually, no, it was the level of it. I think it was 65. I think it might have been 68. I can't remember. That was ages ago. <laughs> this was literally two weeks ago. <laughs> No, it wasn't. So we didn't we didn't record last week, did we? We did. We didn't record a week before that, maybe. Yeah, so it was three weeks three, ago. Three, maybe four, if we didn't record for two weeks. So yeah, yeah, it's quite a while ago. It was a while ago. For you, oh, it was. There's the, there's the rocket hideout again. Oh, oh yeah. But after that, we both can just rape Jasmine, not literally. I hate the rocket hideout so much. <laughs> It's not as bad as the one in first gen. 
No, because it's the this is the one where you literally just walk along, get detected by a statue, and then have to fight some guy. Yeah, but it's not a problem because and it happens I like ten times. It's annoying, but I one shot everything anyway. Also, is this a place where you can just randomly? No, you can't. Oh, yeah, you can. You can just randomly pay to skip a piece of, uh, piece of grass there. That's good. <laughs> Skipping grass is what I want to do in my life. Wait, wait, do you have to do the rocket hideout before doing Price, whatever his name is? Uh, I don't know. I think he's Because think the, so. the, the guy is still standing in front and says, you should, you should check out the north before you do this, because I've spoken to Lance. And I I guess I have to do the rocket hideout first or something, haven't I? I don't remember, but if he's still standing there, yes, there's a pretty good chance, just generally, that you still have to do that. Also, I don't feel like I'm doing this in a fair way, because I just killed a level 19 Needle King. Level. Yes, which makes me think that this is, like, expected. Like, you're supposed to go here first. Yeah, but it's not, because Prize is a 7th gym. Exactly! Doesn't add up. It doesn't. Maybe they figured you would go right first because that's what you intuitively do, over going left and then do the Lake of Rage thing, and then go back? Maybe. Once you realize that that gym is grossly overpowered for you? I don't know. But killing everything here is very easy. Yeah, especially like, since I'm, I'm not having an issue with it, and I'm only like, a couple levels higher. Yeah, and I'm level 40 once I give this red candy to my beast. To your beast? Well, he's a beast. He's a literal alligator. Also, how does a crocodile evolve into oh, an alligator? Re oh, really? I don't even have to mark each one. They just fight me in a row. Gross. I wanted to switch Dratini into the front so I can get some XP. So if we catch a shiny, uh... Not including Gyarados, we already said this. Oh. If that was the case, I would have caught the shiny. I would have caught it as well, so that would cancel each other out. Exactly. We would just spend 10 minutes of doing, doing the Yu-Gi-Oh unboxing on camera now. Hey, if you want to give me those views... And no. Go ahead. No, I'm not doing it. Oh. Yeah, I need to find like a setup. I have like a, a setup I can use. Like, I have a, a mini desktop tripod and I can just use my webcam. It's good enough, right? Lance looks so badass in his yeah, 8-bit I mean, glory. It, yeah, I mean, it's a C920. It's like a decent enough webcam. A uh, webcam can definitely be good enough. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a 1080p webcam. Yeah. Oh, it's not 4K? Gross. No. What do you think I am? A madman? A 4K isn't that expensive anymore. It's not cheap. It's an iPhones. And I think a new Galaxy phone. Because of course, well. iPhones are the cheapest yeah. of all cameras. I buy an iPhone and just use it as a camera. No, but the technology is not that expensive anymore, generally speaking. It's just... The moment it gets integrated into the iPhone, it's not new anymore. Okay, I, get, I can kind of see that. <laughs> because whoever said that Apple was innovative? Well, Apple did, but they lie. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I don't know what the cheapest 4K camera at the moment would be, but I guess it's like three or four hundred dollars, maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna look this I've up. Look I've been looking into getting a DS DSLR. Is it DSLR? Yeah. Yeah, DSLR. Well, you can but get like, those for very cheap. You can get them for like two hundred pounds. Yeah, the cheap ones, especially. Yeah, but like, eh, <laughs> I can't afford that.